This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Hi there, I'm Mark Charter. Pima County's Health Department is suggesting a voluntary curfew to help curb the spread of COVID-19. It is effective immediately, but will not be legally enforced. Health leaders are suggesting people stay home between the hours of 10 at night and 5 in the morning every day. It'll be in place until December 31st. Hospitals in our area are once again near capacity. Pima County's health director says ICU availability has been at times down to the low single digits. She says bed space isn't just about the amount of physical beds, but also the staff that needs to take care of patients. Leaders say our area is facing a shortage and the extra help we got in the summer may no longer be available. The University of Arizona says more than 14,000 tests for the coronavirus were completed as part of its pre-holiday testing blitz. It started on November 9th as students were getting ready for the Thanksgiving break. The blitz will end tomorrow, but testing will still be available through the holidays and mandatory for dorm residents. Governor Ducey says he expects the vaccine for the coronavirus to be implemented here in the state next month. The Arizona Pharmacy Association says mass immunization events and larger hospitals will play the primary role in the first phase of the rollout. The last Arizona county to certify its results from the election has signed off on its tally. Yesterday's unanimous vote by the Mojave County Board of Supervisors sets the stage for state leaders to formalize Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden's historic win in the Grand Canyon State. The board delayed its canvas last week because of lawsuits being pursued by backers of President Trump in Phoenix. Judges in Maricopa County rejected those efforts. Seasonably cool temps arrive today. Breezy winds will pick up at times as highs drop another 10 degrees. Temps will get back to the low 70s today through Thanksgiving. Then they'll drop to the 60s by Friday. We likely won't see any rain in southern Arizona, but a few flurries are possible up in the mountains.